Hello guys, it's this Scotch guy. I'm in the workshop today. I'm going to show you how to steam a mammal T1A. This video was suggested by MC Benman. Thanks for the suggestion. Let's get on with it. So here is the mammod. Looking very nice. Now, before I run it, I always make sure everything is smooth. Just make sure the everything's rotating, everything's all good. Perfect. Now I knock. I'm just going to run it static today. Now for the preparation, so take the burner out. I'll, I'm going to do this running without the canopy today. So now we put water into the boiler, which I use my filler for and I'm back in a minute once that is done because it's quite messy. So to fill up my boiler, I just use this syringe, which I got off EUA, and I've got water in a lemonade bottle, bottle here, which I can put in the boiler. And I'm going to see if I can get you up close to the sight glass to show you going into the boiler. If I can, it might not be able to work then. So what we do is you just... Sorry about the camera guys, but it's the best I could do. Fill up my syringe. And then get it centred with the boiler. Get it into the boiler and then... Press down. And then... That's how much water goes in, so it's about... Just over 40 milliliters of water. Put the excess back into the bottle. And now we get the safety valve and put it back onto the boiler. So now the engine is just about ready to steam. So just screw it back on. Put my syringe away. And get ready to light the fire. Here we've got the fire in this, what they call the scuttle. And I'm going to use just one mammal tablet. Because I always say you can always put another one if you need to. Now I'm using this clipper long lighter and I'm just going to hold it on the on the tablet until it catches on fire you see that it's burning now there may be a bit of moisture on it so all you got to do is just get it by the scuttle and hook it on and now we've got fire so now you can oil up the engine so to oil it now I am setting up to a new oil can because my other oil can sadly broke. Um, now you can use this three in one, but I don't advise it because it is very thin. So this is what I got to be very. This is a little bottle of steam oil. It's very good. I'll see if I can find a link for this. Oh, it's got a bit of dirt up there. Let's clear that off. And we put a bit of oil. I'll get I'll get you up close to show you the oil is and why you work in builders. Honestly, builders these days. So I do apologise for the drilling sound. We can we just put a bit of oil along here. So just let it squeeze out just a bit, not much. And then put it on there, then in there, then in there, and in there. So that's where you put oil in. And then I also, you don't particularly have to do this, but it is, I do I do personally advise it. You put what you call straight cylinder oil in. Now I you can use for example, I got this little, this little bottle here from eBay, but I'm going to use this big bottle bit by um, C. Bennis Supplies and Services. Um, a very good oil company. It's the perfect oil for. I find this one's a bit thick, so this one's that will the perfect viscosity. Right, I'm just going to close this, and so no steam goes to the engine, and then put the engine up. I mean, just get the oil, let it flow down, and then just plop it in and just work it through a bit so now the engines going to start building up some pressure so stay tuned then you start to get pressure because water rolls from the outside the piston but you can see the whistle still can't blow yet oh a bit of a blow but still not enough just yet for the there's a bit of pressure, but make sure we've still got enough water in there. You can see the, the water bounce down. That's the level you should do it at. So, I don't have my point sticking to me, but you can see just there, there's a little bit where it points out there. Little triangles on the side, that's where you do it. I'm going to tell you how this engine works. Now, if you want to know about more, more about this particular mammal T1A, there's a video series called Talking About My Steam Engines, in which I talk about all my steam engines in much greater detail. Now, with this one, it's what you call a single acting cylinder. So basically, 
what you have here is an open front cylinder and you've got the piston that comes out there now the steam comes through a pipe here and goes into the reverser where you can select the direction where it goes into this side of the cylinder and it, either, and it pushes the piston the momentum of the flywheel brings it back and then just about there steam will start to get back in it'll stop about there, go back around and just and then this the T1A, the excess steam comes through these two pipes here and up the chimney. Now after a while the chimney does start to get hot so I choose a pair of pliers. We've got enough steam now to, ru to warm the engine, so I'm going to warm the engine spring. So I'm going to select the direction. I'm just going to leave it there. You see it'll just go there, go back there and just kind of warm it through and it'll probably prime as well but leave it there. And then that, then any steam will just go into, it's going into that. See, the cylinder's getting a bit warm now. You can only keep on your hands on it for a few seconds, but it's getting quite warm now. But we're getting there. It's only a matter of moments before we can. We hope we have enough steam to get her uh, initially running, so I'm just going to put it back into neutral. There we go. And now we're ready to build more pressure. Because there is now steam pressure, there's not enough to actually run the engine. We can give the engine another try. Oh. Get some action hopefully. So now we're getting close. You can see the um probably see the condensate down there. So the condensate just goes into there. Probably can't quite see it though. I must get that leak seam to there. We're gonna try and start. We have we have steam. We can swap between swap direction. And we can alter the speed as well. I'm just trying to see what speed I can get to run at. By the way, that's how you run a Mammoth T1A. And if you want to stop it, you just bring it to the middle. Oh. And then you can get to get the other way. Didn't know I just wouldn't go that way though. It's plenty of steam pressure. There we go. I'm going to blow it out now. Oh! Blow it out. Put it back in. I'm going to use up the excess steam. You can hear the RPM going down.
I do hope you enjoyed that guys, comment below what we see next and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.